Hey guys, welcome to, uh, welcome back to the channel. Like, life is strange, part seven or eight, I don't know, I already lost count. Let's just start this episode right off the bat. This episode is called Hell on Earth. And I still haven't uploaded the last video, so. Um, if you're liking the series so far, drop a like and a comment on what I could maybe play next. Previously, and, yeah. on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! I changed my shirt. Is way late. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw... That wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Doom doom. <laughs> Special victim unit thing. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Of course. <laughs> it's like, okay. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. <laughs> I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I got my shirt back. <laughs> Chloe. What, you don't need a quarter? <laughs> Not this time. When I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Was that Ray? Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Mm. Courtship. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Mm. Early on, though, I realized 
I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. I love how the music's like kind of slowed down. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Hmm. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but. I was still blind. Hmm. Descent. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. Mm -hmm. That no it's matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. Mm. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. So this is like Even the 17, 16 years ago? I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. Mm. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. Mm. I told her. And I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. So I guess her being a drug act is kind of explains why she was leaving Frank's truck at the junkyard. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. Mm -hmm. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again, and again, and again, to keep you safe. That tree's on fire now. It's, I mean, it's probably already gone. So what are they just imagining? Oh, you find her thing? So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No, it's 15 years ago. I send her money every single month. It's our arrangement. Does Rose already know this? But now she wants to see me? Yes, but Rachel, it cannot be. Mm. Why not? Who says it's your decision? Yeah, who says it's your decision? You think you have the right to decide that for her? 
When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. I mean, people change, right? Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Yeah. That's a lot of people in one group chat. Well, not really, it's like... I usually don't do group chats. Is that the one time you can look at that? No. Okay. There we go. So there's Dana, Juliet, Hayden, Brooke, and me. Okay, that's only five. That's actually not that much. I, I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for Rachel. They couldn't just load the house all into one scene. <laughs> it's not. Well, I guess it is kind of a lot of stuff, but. I feel like this is a really short game compared to the first one. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Hmm. Be here for Rachel. This light needs more light. Well, turn off the lamp. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. Mm. A wonderful daughter on the night. Uh, for her first, she'll break a leg. We love you, Mom and Dad. Hmm. Needle the point. The and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Before or else, be armed. <laughs> What's the purpose in opening the emergency kit? Hmm, flashlight. That could help with the night light. Let's take it. Let's do it. Hmm. Should work. Batteries in it, what are you doing? 
Oh. <laughs> How does that work? All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. She just been listening to me put the stuff together. Check it out. Huh. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? You remind us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Sometimes we see it. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all lies. And they're still beautiful. That doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? But they were real. It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. My mom. Mm. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman, my real mom, she's the biggest lie of all. I mean, I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Mm. I'm honored. Take it, even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why, never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. That my real mother was gone. Mm. This is kind of interesting. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here for me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? No. Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah. That's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. Me? But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Frank, I've got an idea. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and... Get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. No. Of course, even if we know where she is, 
We need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I think I can handle that. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. <laughs> I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? You don't know. After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. Yeah, exactly. I've Sorry never about told that. anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking... Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them? That means they're real. To us. Right? Right. <laughs> right. Okay, now what? <laughs> Oh. oh boy, what's it gonna be this time? What? <laughs> David and Joyce and Principal Wells and Ray and Mrs. Amber Dad, and Rose. Back. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> Remember <laughs> when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories your memories are my memories don't you mean my memories i don't think you remember after you're dead touche all right you win why don't you go take a look you sure like a mime Ugh. what's wrong don't you see anything here it is fine it's the spark plug no, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. R Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. 
the world's a stage. Something about the whole world being a stage. So might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. That kind of sucks. Mm. The alarm has been tripped. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Christ. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? Answer my question first. I have a question to ask you first. I mean, a favor. I need to find that woman who was in your RV yesterday. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... That went well, I guess. Wow, thanks for helping- thanks for letting me finish my sentence. What am I getting myself into? Don't know. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Mm. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Mm. Apparently. <laughs> yep. Uh, stop. 
Okay. Uh, I've had it with the school. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man, when you try to dug some, when you try to drug someone and then it bites you, that's the worst. <laughs> yeah. I know how to move faster, game. Just won't let me in the house. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? <laughs> Where's my towel? Okay. My towel's probably lots Some... of washcloths. No towel. It could do the job. <laughs> Let's search this tub. Score. <laughs> it's blue God, hair dot. Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. <laughs> Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be cold. Real cold. Or not. Dying her hair. It just said it said a wash off color. It's not gonna stay there forever. Can I wear my firewalk T-shirt again. William's clothes. When do I get to wear his jacket? His jacket was awesome. What do I feel like wearing on this crazy ass day? Crazy day. The skull, the dragon. Is that all I can wear? I'm gonna wear the dragon, obviously. Who wouldn't want to wear the jacket? All right. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Well, Dad, Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. That's obvious. Okay. Um, I'm gonna continue this in the next video. Uh, cause this seems like the best stopping point I'm gonna get right now, and I don't want to make this too long of a video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, you all have a good day. Bye-bye now.